Good morning everybody, welcome to another video. It's uh, just gone seven o'clock in the morning, down here again on the lovely River Wise, you can probably see behind me. Come here today, being that it's very low and clear, as you can probably see from this beach here, this river is still very low and clear, although it's pretty cold this morning, I have to say. Low, clear and cold doesn't uh, bode well, but um, when I left home this morning, it was five degrees, so we've had some cold nights, so I'm not sure that's how well that's going to do, but uh, we're here today, I say we, I'm here with my friend Harry, we're here today to do a bit of trotting, um, given the conditions. We're going to fish this gully just below these shallows you can see behind me here. My usual equipment, I'm just looking at my rod here, I'll grab it just run you through it if you've not uh, seen the videos before. So my uh, usual trotting fare for down here on the, on the Y, I've got my Dawa Tournament Pro rod, absolutely love this rod, 15 foot, coupled with a Abu Garcia Mark II close face, 506 Mark II, I should say, close face reel there. Love a close face reel for trotting. On the business end, I've got a Drake dome topped alloy stem stick float, so you can see this a long way down, long way down the run. Reflow power, reflow, can get me words out, reflow power main line in 021. The float is cocked with a Drennan Olivet. It's just a sliding Olivet there. It just moves up and down the line. Um, and I've got that stopped between a couple of gripper stops there, just so I can slide that up and down, should I wish. A Matrix quick change hook length swivel. Hook links are made from 019 Drennan Suplex fluorocarbon. And the pointy end is a Drennan Wygate Specialist in size 10. And that shall be buried in a lump of luncheon meat. I've got my... Uh, bait waiter out in the river over there so uh, we'll get out there and I'll run you through the baits if you've seen previous videos you'll know exactly what time uh, what I'm talking about here and what I'm going to do so uh, perhaps skip on 30 seconds but for those of you who've not seen previous trotting videos what I've got as loose feed is just a mixture of sizes and flavors of pellets there all sort of uh, got some krill pellets some from sticky baits the krill um, just some dynamite krill pellets uh, there's even a few small manila pellets in there, um, halibut pellets, all sorts of everything really. The whole point is that they're different sizes, different flavours, just so the fish don't get preoccupied on anything in particular. Now I've got with me some hemp with uh, several other bits and pieces in it. And if I said I knew what this was, I'd be lying. Um, it's one of the free, the free deals from Carbon Baits, but this this stuff smells absolutely wonderful. It smells very aniseedy and a little bit garlicky. It smells absolutely lovely. It's mostly hemp, as you can see. Um, but as I say, it's one of the freebies, uh, carbon baits. If you don't know them, they, uh, and I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'm not advertising them, but if you don't know them, perhaps follow them on Instagram. They pretty much weekly, they have a deal on. Um, and if you order so much stuff, they send you a load of free stuff as well. It tends to be a bit of random stuff what they send you, but uh, as I say, I'm not even sure what this is, <laughs> but it smells absolutely wonderful. So I've got that with me today. And on the hook, I'm gonna fish cubes of luncheon meat. It's about half inch cubes of luncheon meat. That's it, it's as simple as that. I'm gonna get trotting. Right, I think it's enough waffle, isn't it? Let's get on with it. Now we're gonna suck it and see a little bit today as to how the place fishes. So we're thinking with the temperatures dropping that it's gonna be hard going. I've actually done the water temperature today. It's uh, just under 14, about 13 and a half degrees today. And to put that into context, it was um, 15 and a half a week or so ago. So it's not dropped too much. We've had some right cold nights um, this week. So not quite sure how it's gonna go. With, with that in mind, we, we were thinking of sharing this with him, but Harry, you're probably sitting in the distance, is just setting up down there. So we've got the option to perhaps fish, both fish at the same time because bites might be hard to come by today. But who knows? We'll, uh, we'll have a go and we'll find out anyway. Right, first cast of the day. Always exciting. You never quite know what you might catch. Eight ounce chub or a eight pound barbel. <laughs> I think slowness is going to be the order of the day today. I think inching this bait through may be the way to go. Well, we've run through there without a bite and without an issue. So, I'm just going to deepen up until we start tripping under. 
Well, as I said, I think the order of the day is going to be uh, holding the holding the the bait back fairly hard. It's not massively fast in here, but um, for those of you who don't trot or perhaps new to trotting, the, um, the current near the near the bottom of the river will be slower than the current at the top. So if you let the float go through, it will just drag the bait along and it look quite unnatural. What I do is sort of hold the hold the float back and sort of feed it through slower than the surface current. That's the idea. Ooh, a little knock then. And when you do that as well, because your your, your uh, gear is all out in a line, you, you're pretty much directly in contact with the hook bait. And you can actually feel bites on the rod top <laughs> before the float actually goes under. There we go. Oop, lightning. What's this? Well, deepening, deepening off worked. Oh, I think we're into a barbel straight away, the second run through. Well, that's, that's, that's thumped over. <laughs> I don't think this can be a chub. Give my mate Harry a shout, I think. Give a hand with the net in. Once I'm sure it's a barbel, I think it is. <laughs> I think it would have given up by now if it's a chub. It's just a fairly heavy weight. It's just plodding around. I can feel the float. Yeah, it's pulling my arm off. <laughs> well, still here. Yeah, I was just actually just below, just below the, the gully. Point. Yeah. Interesting to see how deep you got it. Cool. Just chugging upstream. Yeah. I will do that. Oh my God. You're killing your arm. Already. <laughs> <laughs> Second run through. I've got arm ache. God, you're not giving up. Quite a slow one. God, it's off. I can't pull him with the current. <laughs> yeah. God, this don't feel like a little one. I'm not really seen it very well, but it's not huge, is it? But it's, yeah, no. It's not a whiff of Cornish at arm. <laughs> it's just hanging. I can't move him. Get him out of that fast water it now. <laughs> Start. Yeah. We're gonna sneak him in. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a cracking fish first off. Well, guys, how's about that first off? <laughs> not complaining about that at all. What a scrap. Wonderful stuff. Right, we're not going to keep him out. <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely job. Gone. Fantastic. Wonderful. So, guys, a bit of an update for you. Um, Harry's been trotting for about an hour now. We've not had another bite, unfortunately. So... As we thought, it's going to be a bit of a tricky day, I think. We may perhaps split up, have a go at different swims, perhaps try a bit further down. I seem to look out this morning on that, that barbel. I say Harry's uh, Harry's been going for an hour now with uh, not a sniff. I 
we got all day. We can fish until sunset, so plenty of time to, to catch a few. I'm going to keep uh, keep baiting that swim a bit further down. Harry's going to trickle some baiting down there. He's doing that at the moment, actually. So effectively, we're, we're sort of feeding the entire run along here. We'll uh, keep this feed going in, though. It's all small particles. Mm -hmm. it's like, no. Bottom. Yeah, it's all small particles and it's not going to fill the fish up and obviously the pellets are going to dissolve, going to get in amongst the gravel and dissolve, so they're not going to stick around too long either. So we'll keep, we'll keep feeding. I have actually bought some, um, I've got about half a pint of casters, which I turned and a couple of pints of maggots and some worms as well just in case we were struggling which it looks like we might be and uh, I thought perhaps we might so I bought some sort of backup natural baits thinking we might be up against it a little bit a lot less selective on the fish you catch though obviously uh start fishing maggots and casters even probably going to catch lots of smaller fish perhaps dace and even some roach maybe small chub but we'll have to see we'll persevere for for now i think and perhaps make a change if we're really struggling You know, there's no telling naturals will do the trick, but if we're struggling on meat and, and pellets and hemp, we'll make a change. So guys, it is some time later. We're early afternoon now. We've uh, we've had a move because that spot which wasn't producing at all was doing absolutely nothing. We'd... Uh, we both fished, I think, for about three hours in the end. So six man hours um, and not a bite. <laughs> so clearly we're barking at the wrong tree. So we've had to move actually to a different stretch. So we're going to have a go in this lovely run here. Stretch we've never been to before. Have not got a clue how it fishes, how well it fishes. <laughs> but we'll have a go. We'll have a run through. We'll have to suck it and see about depth and see what we can find. I'll set this about six foot deep, so we'll we'll just run it through. And just get deeper and deeper until we start dragging under. But yeah, it's a bit of depth in here. It's, uh, I've not dragged under yet. So. <laughs> Certainly a bit of depth, which is where I would expect to find the fish. So a lot of this stretch is very, very shallow. As we've walked up, we can see the bottom all the way along. We're not cut down there. No. Any rough on the front ridge, we've missed it. Where's that going? There. Oh, you want it there? Well, once again, we cannot buy a bite. It's, uh, it's just really, really, really hard going today. Blimey. Thought it would be tricky, but I didn't think it would be no bites tricky. <laughs> Harry's yet to have a bite. I've uh, just had that one, <laughs> that barbell. Bumped into several anglers, most of whom haven't caught anything. The odd one said he's has a chub. The odd chub. But, uh, God, blimey. The guy actually fishing when we when we got here, there's a guy fishing on the Croy just below here. You can probably see it in the distance. And uh, he, sh he said, oh, we're in. <laughs> a bite. It's a chub. 
but it's a point. <laughs> It's a chub. It is a chub and a little one at that, but oh, I'll take anything right now. <laughs> a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> oh, wonderful. A bite, finally. There are some fish in this pool. Off he goes. <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, the, the, there was a chap um, fishing the croy that's about 75 metres downstream from me, something like that. And uh, he seemed to be a regular. He said, oh, yeah, I, I fish here quite a lot. And this is usually a good spot. I haven't caught anything today. <laughs> dear. <laughs> dear. Not very promising. <sighs> you got a northwesterly blowing as well. It's proper cold. <laughs> downstream banging down the uh, river in the direction that the, river's, that the river is coming from to here it's like a wind tunnel in here it's, it's probably chilly oh dear well, I've had a bite smile on my face at least <laughs> as I'm gritting my teeth in cold wind <laughs> oh my goodness something's just jumped out Clearly some fish in here. Certainly more life than we saw at, uh, at the last stretch we were on. So it just seemed very devoid there, I'm not sure why. It was very, very devoid. The whole place seemed devoid of life. And stood there in the past with, you know, fry and minnows. Sort of uh, swimming around your legs. Hordes of them and there was just nothing. As you know, I saw one gudgeon. <laughs> a few tiny fry a bit further downstream from where we were but clearly the fish didn't want to be there see more fish jump here in sort of half an hour or so that we've been here than we did the whole morning in the other place we did go and investigate a bit further down that stretch but uh, there was a few guys down there and they did offer to give way but um I didn't really fancy it to be honest. Didn't really look particularly appealing. Oh, what a bizarre, bizarre day. You start off, you think you're gonna struggle. You catch a cracking barbell second run through. And think, oh, actually, we're not going to struggle. This will be a cracking day. <laughs> Nothing could have been further from the truth. I really must have run that bit of meat past that barbel's nose and he just couldn't resist it. And I must have had a, a thousand casts <laughs> the rest of the day. And uh, they've been able to resist all day if there are any fishing, indeed, any fish in front of us. That first spot we fished, it just it seemed lifeless there's no fish moving no fish topping no fish jumping not even any little fish in the edge it seems a, a bit more lively here there's fry around and there's been salmon jumping out and the kingfish are catching some stuff over there you clear those fish around here but the bigger ones really don't seem interested at all we've thrown everything in the kitchen sink at them today so pellets meat Worms, maggots, sweet corn, absolutely everything. And they've turned their noses up at the lot. No, that's it. That's it, there is uh, there's nothing going on here. I'm needed at home and I'm certainly not doing any good here. So I'm going to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a reasonably enjoyable day that cracking marble early on which uh, was wonderful and give us false hope for the day but uh, yeah it's been a proper struggle today proper proper struggle unfortunately Ari hasn't even had a bite so uh, feel for him 
I have to say, but uh, yeah, it's not been the best conditions water-wise or weather-wise. It's proper chilly. This cup is where you can probably see Harry's down there now. He's got his big coat on his woolly hat. That's how cold it is. It's proper chilly. Anyway, I'm waffling. Now, I was intending on coming down here at the weekend, but uh, I think I might put that off for a few days, let the weather settle a bit. It's uh, it's not supposed to get any colder. And uh, the sort of cold nights are due to stop, I think. Um, we get some more reasonable weather, some settled conditions, so perhaps I'll leave it for a week or so before I come back down. But we'll most probably be out on the Avon before then. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. Many thanks to my wife for letting me be here while she's got a really, really bad knee. But uh, I'm on my way home to sort you out. <laughs> I'll see you all again very soon.